In this video, we are discussing while loop in Java and what is the basic flowchart against this while loop in Java, we will be discussing that one into details. So, the while loop is used to repeatedly execute a set of statements as long as the given condition is true. So, when the condition is true, at first the condition will be checked and when the condition is true, the set of statements will go on executing. So, until the condition is false, the body or the statements which are there in the while construct, they are supposed to get repeatedly executed. So, the basic syntax is like this. So, while there will be one boolean expression within the first brackets and within the curly braces, the statements will be written. So, there is a while then the condition within the curly braces, the statements are to be written. So, you can find that when the condition is true, then only the control can come into this, this respective block and the statements can have their execution. Until the boolean expression is turned to false, the loop will execute forever. So, we can use while true, you know that while true means here instead of writing the condition, I have written true here. So, that is why to make this loop to execute for infinite number of times. So, using this while true, we can implement infinite loop. So, here from here the control is coming, then the condition is getting checked and if the condition is true, then the code block is getting executed consisting of single or multiple statements there. Then again the condition will be checked and again if it is found true, then again the code block will get executed repeatedly. But the, if the condition is false, then control will come out from this while construct. So, let us go for one demonstration to show you that how this while loop will get executed in our Java programming. In this demonstration, we are discussing how to use while loop in our Java code. So, here we are planning to add uh, numbers ranging from 0 to 9 and the sum does obtained, the total does obtained that will get printed and this iteration, this looping will be done using while statement. So, a is equal to 0, a will be the term which will be ranging from 0 to 9 and then sum is equal to 0, initializing sum with the value 0 here. While a less than 10, so uh, that means 9 will be the maximum value a can take because a is of the type of integer and system.out.println, the value of a is getting printed, sum is equal to sum plus a. So, initially the sum value was c0 and now the sum will get increased by the value of a and each and every time a is incremented, increase the value of a. So, what will happen? Initially the value of a was 0, then it will become 1, then it will become 2, in this way it will proceed and it will proceed up to a is less than 10. So, maximum it can proceed up to 9. So, when the value of a will become 10, it will come out from the loop and after exiting from the loop, we will be printing the value of sum. So, let us go for the execution, you can find that we have added the value of a as 0 and then a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, that is why and the sum of the numbers uh, from 1 to 0 to 9 is equal to 45. So, sum is getting printed. So, what is happening when the last 9 is getting added with the sum, the a is getting incremented by 1 back again. So, it has become 10. So, while 10 less than 10, the condition is false. So, when the condition is false, the control cannot go into the while block within the while statements. What are the statements we have written within the curly braces? So, the control is coming out and printing the sum uh, of the numbers from 0 to 9 and concatenation sum. So, that is why if we print the value of So, I am expecting that here the value of a after coming out from this uh, from this uh, while block will be getting this one as my uh, 10 here because the 9 plus 1 the 10 will be obtained. I think there is no error right now. Okay, Let me go for the execution. You can find that after coming out from this while body and it is having the value of a is equal to 10 and 10 less than 10 caused uh, false. So, this condition is causing false, is coming, is producing the output false. So, that is why this particular while false, the control cannot go into the while body. So, it has come out and then the next statements, whatever they are in the program code, they are supposed to get executed. I think you are getting this idea that how this while works in our Java program. Thanks for watching this video.